what's going on team proof here and welcome back to the next recruit report video and the card i'm going over today is bad end dragger which is a card that we knew was coming back but we had no idea what it was actually going to do we weren't sure if it was going to mesh with uh premium stuff we weren't sure if it was going to be like the standalone thing if it's going to be another break ride type of thing there's a whole lot of speculation surrounding it and honestly this card has been a thorn in my side for a long while now with the double break ride ruling and re-ruling and retooling and rule changes to do update videos and all that jazz. So I had mixed feelings coming into it that he was coming back because I was fearful of the worst that it was going to be more ruling nightmares for me to have to deal with. But he's here and he's quite a doozy, quite a little spicy meatball that we got here. So what he does is auto on Vanguard or Rear Guard. When it attacks, counter blast one and put a rear guard on the bottom of your deck. And this unit gets plus 5,000 power and plus one critical until the end of that battle. And then auto, when it's rolled upon, call this card to rear guard circle and retire all your opponent's rear guards in the same column that it was called in. So let's go ahead and let's start with the first skill and talk about that. Talk about the next skill after that and then kind of talk about where things could fit in with it. So hope you enjoy. As always, just kind of come off the cuff coming off the top of my brain with like some of the testing that I've done and kind of like my own thoughts and feelings about it. So as for the first skill, it's the first instance that spikes have of getting an additional critical attacker. Like it's something that we've kind of wanted as the, the game has progressed, but we've never received it up till now. So it's really nice to be able to have something that gives an additional critical, that gains an additional critical while attacking. So that means with Force 1, of course, you get the extra 10,000 power. So you might have like a 23k that becomes a 28k with an additional critical. Or you can have, have it on Force 2 and have three crits coming at your opponent, which is very threatening and very scary when you combine it with any other card that gains additional power or um, trigger power as well. So the cost for the critical and 5,000 is kind of steep considering you're only getting 5,000 power. Like the critical is nice, but I would have liked to have seen maybe plus 10,000 power for having to counter blast one and lose a rear guard to be able to gain it because some other cards that have gained criticals in the past, maybe not, a, maybe hasn't been as cost prohibitive. So that part I wish was a little bit better. I still enjoy the fact that it gains a critical trigger and I liked how it meshes with both, um, bull spike and general safety in its own fashion maybe that's why it was designed this way is to be able to work with both of the previous um vrs or <laughs> the current vr and the previous vrs how i should say because for bull spike on the bull spike side he doesn't use soul blast he uses counter blast which meshes well with uh, bull spike um, using a soul to pass it a force marker and then on safe free side it can put back units to the bottom of the deck for future safe free calls Unfortunately, it has a counter blast, which is what Safri also uses, so it kind of runs into a head-to-head -head there. But it does put, maybe if you've seen, uh, maybe you have two of a particular unit in drop, the third one is on the field, and the last one's in your hand. You can use um, Bad End here after that other unit attack to put it to the bottom of the deck so it's safe. So then that way, on your next turn, you can call out the one that's in your hand, and then maybe use Safri to put it to the soul and call the one you bottom decked the previous turn. So that's where it will mesh in with general safety and that's that part's kind of nice about it the soul blast i mean the counter blast cost is kind of hefty in that relationship but they can make it work <laughs> and then as for the second skill when you ride upon it you can call it to rear guard and then retire the column that's called into it it's also a nice way of retire which is interesting to see spice gain so much retired in one set we have bull spike thaddeus and now um, Bad End Dragon that can all retire in some form or fashion, which is very rare and very surprising to see Spice get that while being able to maintain aggression as well. So it's like a nice nice balance there, nice mix. And that part I'm, I really like because you ride it, get a force marker, you can do its thing, and then press your opponent with a critical trigger. Maybe you want to bottom deck some, some draw trigger or something that's wasting in your hand and get the additional critical. And then the next turn you ride general safe free you ride bull spike you ride another bad end or something like that call the other one and reduce your opponent's aggression and then be able to have the additional critical come with it as well i remember in testing when i did bad end dragger plus bull spike i was able to retire four of my opponent's units in one turn thanks to like a rear guard attack and then the other three dying from skill which is very 
very fun to see uh, Spikes be able to do that, which is something that we haven't had before. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, it meshes so well into premium because it can replace old bad end in the bad end double break ride sequence. Because if you're unfamiliar with it, the way good end dragger works, the stride which is designed with bad end in mind, is that after good end attacks, uh, you counter blast one and then you return them to the G zone, search your deck for two grade threes, and then you call one to an open rear guard circle, and then you ride the rest of it as rest. So the way the combo works, if you don't want to check out my video, uh, where I explain it a little more in detail somewhere two or three times. <laughs> if you have a full field, so if your field is all five units or if your field has five units or they're occupied lock circles, what have you, don't do it if it's locked, <laughs> but it's there. If you have five units on the board and you um, resolve good in, you can't call one to an open rear guard circle. So then the rest of them, the, the two that you find, will ride the Vanguard one at a time. So the way it works is that you have good end dragger V, the new one on Vanguard presently, and then you search out a bad end dragger, another bad end dragger V and bull spike, and then you ride bad end on bad end, and then you ride good end on the, the new bad end that you search from the deck. So then you gain two force markers, and then you gain the ability to call out both of them from soul into rear guard circles so then they can resolve their on their, their ride ability because it goes on standby to retire your opponent's column on both sides so it's like a nice little bazooka through your opponent's field while being able to get more attacks off with that so really 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 good instance of being able to have design a card that can mesh into standard and into premium very seamlessly so i'm really impressed by bushy road and their design team for pulling this card out because of the way that it functions is very, very intricate, the way it was designed, the way it kind of just meshes in with everything. And that part I really appreciate. I love seeing like well-designed cards. Now, me personally, I would love to see the 10K, as I mentioned before, instead of the 5K, but I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna split hairs on that one because I've been having some, some nice success with it in testing, especially when you combine it with Force One from uh, bull spike passing so you pass it over two force markers and then it becomes a 33k and then you bottom deck a rear guard that's not doing anything anymore and now it attacks for 38k or higher while putting on that pressure and then if your opponent hasn't activated bull spike yet they guard it you draw a card pop a unit and then you kind of get the refund back from the card you put to the bottom of the deck and that's probably why it makes you bottom deck it because they thought about it in conjunction with bull spike drawing you a card so all in all, I'm really impressed with bad end here and I'm thankful like the part of me that was afraid is kind of subsiding now and I'm being able to really enjoy the card in the standard side and I can't wait to try it out more in the premium. So that's my thoughts on bad end. What are your thoughts on it? I'm really excited to, to test it some more and hopefully we'll see how it remains in the deck after the, the rest of the cards flesh out. See, see where it finds its place when we get the rest of the reveals. So yeah, that'll do it for me. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, look, hope you enjoyed the rest of the uh, recruit reports up to now and look out for the ones in the future. So yeah, as I said, that'll do it for me and peace. Be easy.